think we really about to go in a dungeon. When they turn off the lights, it's just like, what? Hey guys, so it's a couple hours or many hours later um, coming home from the local the living room. Ooh, I was going to say local seat, thinking of Houston, but um, coming from the living room. So I am a snacker. Like I like chips or nuts or like oranges and fruits and grapes, but I don't have that here and we haven't went to the store, grocery store or anything. So I ordered me some Domino's pizza breadstick. So thank God my boyfriend got a SIM on his car because um, I had to end up calling them. I couldn't make the order online for them to deliver. I just called them, put in my order. It had to be 50 cities for them to deliver. And I got cheesy breadsticks and a Fanta soda. So, And I just got the soda to make it 50 cities. Um, he just went downstairs to get that. 50 cities is $4.25 in US. So $4.25 for some breadsticks, that's pretty good. So um, even our food was like $22 or something like that at the living room. Um, I got groundnut soup. My boyfriend got groundnut soup with fufu and beef. We both got that and then we I got mango juice he got a Fanta two Fantas um, and then I got salad with a boiled egg and bread and salad dressing so all of that came up to $22 even when we ate there the first night I had groundnut soup with rice and crab and fish and he had okra stew with banku um and that was like eleven dollars so and i think i also had pineapple juice and i i forgot what drink he had but all of that was eleven dollars that place is super affordable and um he loves it i actually really enjoy it too but i'm just trying to get into the stews and the soups and stuff it's definitely like an acquired taste it's a different taste but I feel like you get used to it at a certain point. But that was our second time going back there. And it was pretty good. So. I need 10 cities. How much was it? 60. Well, just grab another 50. Because we don't have 10. So I guess it was 60 cities. Instead of 50. So 60 cities is $5. And 10 cents. Still not bad, still not bad. So let's look and see what we have here. I couldn't download the app either because it said it was unavailable. So this is how it looks. I got the cheesy bread. Y'all, I don't even eat Domino's in the US, but this is how it looks. I asked them, did they have marinara sauce or something but he said yeah and this could definitely use some marinara sauce or ranch or something and y'all that's what i noticed here they don't really have like salad dressing um they have ketchup but they be running out like sauces they don't really have so bring your own sauce not only hot not hot sauce in the bag salad dressing ketchup marinara sauce like different sauces it tastes okay i'm excited to try kfc tomorrow because i think i'm definitely gonna get that before i leave i'm gonna eat my cheesy bread probably watch some netflix and i'll see y'all tomorrow your body drive me crazy your body need a license fit your body are too tight and neat jubilee house it was built in 2008 by our former president, John Ejokum Kufum. That's what he has said. Mama Snow, this area or this place was called the, flag, uh, the Flagstaff House. 
Now the Flagstaff House was built by the British. So all the way from the Kotoka International Airport to this side used to be a military zone for the British. So just like the Kotoka International Airport, it was built in 1946. So the British were using it as a military terminal. Anybody with the eyes can see, she just wanna dance and tea, she just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me, she just wanna dance and tease me, she just wanna dance and tease me. you be missing, it's 2016, squeak the me one fix. You know that's my sister When she speak I listen She swears you're my missing I say we think different I, 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 I see So over here is the ending point of British Accra Here, down Is the, the end of the British Accra So what you see over here Now they've renovated them Formerly it used to be a very old building And it was part of the British uh, storehouses where they were keeping their goods so they have more of this behind a lot of them but they've renovated some of them so y'all we got off the bus in jamestown and i think we've really about to go in a dungeon hold up hold up <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to go. But if you come, we can visit. Okay, as well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No, this is a special man. This is a man that gives slaves go. So he says, slaves walk under there to go. Thank you. What did you think of that's what you're talking about. That's what so y'all, like I said, we're in Jamestown. I know y'all probably can't see me, but we're in Jamestown and apparently the dungeon that we went in, the slaves went down there to walk to the fort. The fort. And it's actually like a beach over here and this the beach is really beautiful. And it's very like windy because y'all know when you're off of the water. Um, the wind blows really nice but going down in that dungeon y'all it was so hot like I don't even see how it was just so hot down there like we didn't we was down there for two seconds and we were sweating so I could only imagine but I guess you know they had to do what they had to do so This is also where they fish. And he said the fish, the cheapest fish are here in Jamestown. So, yeah, it's pretty fun learning some stuff. So we're gonna go get back on the bus now. Now straight ahead of us is a, a fort called the James Fort. And it was built by the British. They were then using it as a trading post where they were trading trading in slave and gold. Alright, so that's how come we have the dungeon over there as well. Uh, we all know how slavery started, like I said earlier on, when this European got to know that we had gold in Africa, they came in. So they went to some African countries, some came to Ghana as well. Alright, and they started all over Ghana. But this particular area, uh, it was the British that came to settle here. We have the Dutch ahead of us, but so where we are currently is called the British Accra. All because of the British fort over right? here, the James Fort. Alright. Baby, come, come, try me. Who you gonna love if you run by me, girl? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl. Lot of ways, twists and turns, twists and turns, girl. Baby, come me, I too fly, I get burned. Lot of ways, twists and turns, twists and turns, yeah. Everybody's driving crazy, 
Y'all, now we're going across the street. This is called Freedom Square Day. Independence Square. So we're about to walk across to the star. We got the goods, finally. And I got this milkshake. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I'm gonna eat the chicken when I get home and I'm gonna let y'all know how it is. Everybody, if somebody, if somebody wants to go to America, Delta is ready. Let's go. Less than five seconds, the plane will be full. <laughs> <laughs> it's because your dollar it goes long here mm -hmm. but in america well when we're in america our dollar doesn't it don't go far it don't go far mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you bring the u.s dollar oh, here hundred dollar is about well, hundred dollars in u.s in yesterday yeah why would you bring hundred dollar here give me hundred dollar here Maybe tomorrow I can choose to work or not. Yeah, <laughs> I would say hundred dollars in US and yesterday. So you understand? <laughs> hundred dollars US. You have been called. You have been called Newman side. That's it. That's all. <laughs> but, oh, you are trying. They speak your your, your English. Your tree is, is very nice. <laughs> like it's like you are forcing to to, to speak. <laughs> 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 uh, you are gonna give me two hundred dollars mm. today. Hey, we we'll we'll club. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll, I'll stretch my legs and sleep well. <laughs> and because with that two hundred dollars, it's almost taking me like almost, almost three days, three days, four days of working mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And even not even up to because I can't even boast of six hundred cities today. <laughs> you understand? That's, that, that's why I'm saying we are working in vain. I was saying December though is different, right? December. All right, Christmas. About all the Uber? Aye. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been getting a lot of tips from the, from you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll be picking a lot of. Uh, yeah, I see. The, the foreigners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll be getting a lot of. A lot, a lot of. They, they are surprised that they, 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 the Uber is so cheap in, in Ghana. <laughs> Sometimes, like, 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 some, some guy from London said, What? <laughs> Three hours uh, trip? So cheap. He gave me he gave me fifty pounds. Oh fifty pounds. Take it. I said, wow. <laughs> this fifty pounds. Oh. And then you go stretch I'm your going, legs. I'm going to eat strong watching. <laughs> <laughs> and relax. I know it's dark, but um I showed a little clip when we were in the Uber and our Uber driver was basically just saying how like it's just really hard to make ends meet here and we were sitting in traffic for like over an hour and we just tipped him because I just felt so bad like I felt bad about the traffic like especially because he can't make any extra money during that time and apparently it's a weird process with Uber giving them payments here if you use a card so um, we tipped him, but I did two stops and we went to KFC. So I got the goods. So we're gonna try it out. Yeah, it's cold. Maybe I should warm it up. Maybe they say it's better because it's crispier. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like it tastes like regular KFC, I don't know. But I do think it is a bit crispier. It also is not hot anymore, so I guess this is a real review. But anyways, we get up early to go to Cape Coast in the morning. Today was really, really fun. Apparently, our tour guide did a tour for Chance the Rapper and some more people so if you go to the tourist um center here um because it was really really fun 
and we really got to see some things that we haven't seen yet so i liked it but cape coast in the morning so i'm gonna eat this chicken and go to bed and i'll see y'all tomorrow good morning guys so we're up early it's like maybe 5 55 or something like that we are off to cape coast so this is gonna be like a half day journey i'm guessing so of course let's go until 9 so we got here at like 850 what is it 4 854 853 something like that so we just came to look at the beach until we can go in but I feel like we can go in because I think that man just wanted us to come look at his shop but I don't know it's so nice so so nice you can put a hundred gramp on it anything i said i stamp on it in a private plane i lamp on it let let all the call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on him Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Lele ho, lele ho, yeah Tobalo ko macho, yeah Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah Nobody know tomorrow Choro Feces, jury, vomit, blood, sweat, and robot Simply DNA some of the captives died. Their bodies were dumped into the ocean. Mm. But the British used this as their cemetery. So they buried dead bodies all over. When, when the courtyard was excavated, only four graves had marks, solely for identified. One African grave, three European graves. The African buried here, Philip Kwaku, was from this town. He was from Cape Coast. It's over 200 bad years. This door is about 200 years. And it is made of both metal and wood. Pitch pine wood to make it more stronger. They coated the wood with metal plates. Mm. Cell, cell, cell. But this is not an ordinary cell. Rather, this is condemned cell in order to wet room of no return. Can I do <laughs> Condemned cell, room of no return. And they wanted to use this room as a cell. And those captives wanted to fight for their freedom, the freedom factors. But the British saw them as stubborn and rebellious ones. But you know, they suffered, they suffered for too long. And when man is suppressed, oppressed, depressed, or repressed for a long time, one day he will explode. Mm -hmm. Those who tried to escape and were caught, and those who constantly fought the British, could be two, could be five, ten. They would chain all of them together, and this kick and slap in another. They'll push them in here. Then they'll lock them up with first door, second door, third door. The doors were there. No light. No ventilation, no oxygen. No food. No water. 
Two, three days, maximum four days, they will struggle, 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 suffocate. Mm -hmm. And die. Suddenly, painfully, when they locked the doors, they made sure all of them died before the doors were open. I mean, even after three days, when they open, see one or two still alive, they will close the doors again oh till the last person is gone. So see, if I'm here with you, and if you die before me, the only thing I could do is to sit or lie by the bodies with the chain on the ankles, on my ankles, until I also die. And when you have to die on the first day, by the third, the fourth day, and if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he come at us. No, go fambo. As the day comes, as they could hear the captain scream. Oh, and this and is dungeon. where they the the right the the walk. Right in the church. Yes, yeah. so yeah. below this in the dungeon yeah. is where the left of our feet exactly I was standing on. So imagine a ship. That carries enslaved Africans with the name Good Ship of Jesus. <laughs> and these same people who came with ships named Jesus were raping some of the female captives. They were bold enough, had a sail to punish those women who said no to rape. Mm. This is the female punishment said. Current Vice President of the United States of America, Madame Kamala Harris. She was here some month ago and later this one. That is why I said, so one could give birth to about three, four, five, six children. He or she will grow up and will not see any of the children again. Mm. So the women have this chamber and the opposite one. And the two chambers had about 300 female captives and children, boys and girls, 13 and little above 13, were here with them. So each 150. They also defecated here. Urinated here, vomited here, menstruated. And one sad thing was as women, as women, when they had their menses, it flowed on them, flowed on them. So it ended and dried on them. Uh, we just finished the tour and it was very insightful. I learned a lot. It was very sad, very emotional, like just being in the dungeons and then when they turn off the lights, it's just like, what? Um, it was very, very informative, sad. When we were in the dungeons, he would like turn the lights off just to show us a little bit of how dark it was. But, you know, even so, it's during the day and it's still not as dark as it would get in those dungeons. He said some of the dungeons, they would lock them in there and it had no, like, breathe holes, no oxygen, no nothing. So they literally put them in there to die. So it was just really sad, but I definitely um, loved the experience just learning. So yeah, y'all, we're about to go now. The castle was really, really good. 10 out of 10, do recommend. Another banger. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a key, but the bong, 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 your body, cook a hand, make a bong, 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 on the make a key. Uh, kilo fe, I'm a dead chugger dead, uh, fine, fine, oh, bugger dead, uh, watch your love for lucky, uh, wine, I'm a more dead, uh, to body, to body, to body, uh, bush it in. Good morning, y'all. So today is the last day in Ghana. Today's Thursday. Um, our flight leaves at like 11 p.m. tonight. So uh, we have the whole day. So we're just going to go to the mall because we haven't been. And um, probably go. My boyfriend is going to get his toes on. I may get my nails done. Possibly. We'll see. But um, and then we'll probably just come back or maybe go somewhere to get something to eat and then come back and finish packing and be off to the airport so i didn't take out with me last night but i went to go see stephanie if you guys don't know who stephanie is she's the owner of atara hair oil i know y'all have heard me ranting and rave about that oil if you watch my hair videos so she lives here in ghana and i went to go see her last night at a restaurant um called pomina pomina 
and the bar side is called Soul. It was super cute. So nice meeting her. Like, oh my God, we just talked, talked, talked. And then look, she got me this bag. How cute is this, y'all? And I actually wanted like a bag like this. And the fact that she literally had it um, in the car when we got in her car, I was like, ah, uh, so cute, so sweet. So I saw her. So definitely have like a connect next time I come here. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to take y'all with us today and, um, savor the last little remnants of Ghana before we go and head back to the U.S. So let's go. <laughs> So y'all, we came to the shop, right? And I found my drink that I like. It's called Cocktail D Fruits. It's really, really good. And I don't even drink soda, but I like this one. And now we're looking for plantain chips. Sweet potato chips. Oh, those are the ones that I had bought you at the thing. At the um, resort. I meant the, the Airbnb. We left the nail collar and came to the living room. So we ate and now that was the day. We're going back to Airbnb to pack. So um, I'm going to give y'all a little trip recap when we get back because I have some things to say that I wasn't able to say or I didn't get to say yet. So I'll see y'all when we get back.